What's up, pro warriors? Imagine playing your favorite Nintendo Switch games right on your Android phone. Sounds unreal, right? Well, it's happening. The Ryujinx emulator is now officially available for Android devices, and it's blowing minds with its performance. But here's the kicker. We're going to see if it can handle the heat on a low-end Android device. That's right. We're talking MediaTek processors, Mali GPUs, and less than six gigabytes of RAM. Can this emulator make it work? These devices aren't typically built for heavy gaming, but let's see how Ryujinx handles on this setup. I'll walk you through the steps, show you the best settings, and we'll see just how well it runs Nintendo Switch games. If you find this video helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Before we jump in, let's quickly introduce Ryujinx. Ryujinx has long been a go-to emulator for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS, offering top-tier Nintendo Switch emulation for games like Super Mario Odyssey and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. With its advanced settings and smooth gameplay, it's been a favorite among gamers for years. The good news is that Ryujinx has released an experimental Android version, and it looks promising. Since this is still under development, it can currently run low-end Nintendo Switch games, but hopefully it will soon become the top emulator for Android. Once you've downloaded the APK file for the emulator, go ahead and install the app. After installation, open the app. It will ask for your permission to manage files. Allow access. You will see an empty screen because we haven't added any game sources yet. Click on the Ryujinx button at the top right corner, then go to Settings. Under the option of App, click on Choose Folder and select a folder or directory where the emulator can automatically find your games. In the File Manager, go to your internal storage and create a new folder. You can name it something like Nintendo, as I did. Now enter the Games folder. Tap Use This Folder and allow the emulator to access your games. Now we need to import production keys. Without these keys, Ryujinx won't launch any games. To install the keys, tap on Import Prod Keys. Navigate to your Keys folder and select the prod.keys file. If you want to add firmware, tap Firmware and select the firmware file from your file manager. Adding the, the latest firmware improves game compatibility, helps with performance and stability, and reduces graphical and audio bugs. But this step is optional. In the System section, disable Docked Mode. In the Graphics section, you can set the resolution scale up to 4x, but I prefer 2x. Enable the Texture Recompression option for better performance. Another important feature is the custom GPU driver. By default, it selects your device's GPU, but you can install custom GPU drivers for better performance. Unfortunately, unfortunately, you can't install GPU drivers if your device doesn't have Snapdragon. Other options are not important, so leave them as default and return to the main screen. If your games aren't showing up on the main screen, just click the Refresh button, and they should appear immediately. Now let's address some concerns. Ryujinx is still under development for Android, and it lacks some essential features, such as comprehensive graphics settings, orientation control, aspect ratio adjustments, and full control customization. Additionally, Ryujinx hasn't released an official compatibility list yet, so we don't have detailed information about which games will work flawlessly. It's worth keeping an eye on updates from the Ryujinx team as they continue to improve the emulator. If you're looking for an alternative, you might want to try emulators like Uzui MMJR. Uzui MMJR permits you to install custom GPU driver. Installing a custom GPU driver can significantly enhance the emulator's performance and stability. Remember that using emulators is legal, but pirated games are prohibited and can be harmful to your device and your privacy. For any additional information or questions, feel free to join our Discord server. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for future updates. See you in the next video, and take care.